Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about some finale spoilers that have just been released just a couple of days ago. I saw it and I kind of forgot about it, and then I just was reminded when I revisited the article just earlier today. So we're going to be talking about it. It's very exciting. Todd Helbing, the showrunner, has teased some little bits about what's to come nearer to the end of the season. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. All right, so The Flash, we are coming to the end of the season very, very soon. We've only got three episodes left, so it's been a really good season. It's been a massive step up from season four. As you know, season four did not like it, barely. There was a few good episodes nearer to the end, and that's about it. So this season, going to the end, I'm very, very excited because we've just come off of two of the best episodes that the season has had to offer. We had Godspeed, and then we had Snowpack last week where we got the introduction of the negative Speed Force and Nora getting involved in that, getting consumed, essentially. And we know in the finale, Reverse Flash is going to escape. We know that he's going to be supposedly in present day, and Nora is definitely going to be fighting him along with Team Flash. And it seems like somehow they've come to an agreement that maybe he can actually get out of prison, maybe because he's helped them or something. But we're not sure right now, but for now, we're presuming that he's actually still on death row, he's still destined to die, but something will change as we head towards these last few episodes. So, like I said, episode 20 later this week, and then we have 21, then 22, so it's one episode less than the normal runtime for the season, because it's normally 23 episodes. So, we are very, very close to the end, and I'm super excited. But anyway, let's break down these quotes. So, this is what Todd actually had to say. Following a showdown with Cicada 2, at the very least, Helbing says, There is something we do at the end of the finale that speaks to the timetable for Iris actually getting pregnant. And while viewers will bid adieu to at least two characters, might one of them not be Nora? There are a couple of scenarios where you could see Jessica Parker Kennedy come back, says the executive producer. There are many, actually. Alright, so this is very interesting. I'm very excited to talk about this because it teases a lot. He's teased a lot in just this one sort of one or two quotes, actually. So, following a showdown with Cicada 2, Helbing says there is something that we do at the end of the finale that speaks to the timetable for Iris actually getting pregnant. So, just quickly notice how he says a showdown, not like the final showdown or anything, because I don't think the final showdown in the finale for season 5 is going to be with Cicada 2. I think that final fight, that final confrontation, is the leaked set photos we got with Reverse Flash. I think that is how they're going to sort of lead into next season. I don't know if that's a cliffhanger or not, but whatever's going to happen, I don't see... Cicada actually having the last fight, I think it will be Reverse Flash because they've been teasing him all season, Cicada 2's been around, she's been popping up every now and again, but she's sort of taken a backseat to what's going on with Nora and Reverse Flash because really Nora is the main character of this entire season, so it would make sense if she fails to do her mission or she succeeds to do her mission so she changes the timeline so Barry doesn't die and she grows up obviously with a father it's not going to be mainly to do with cicada is it and like i've said many times before if she does succeed in her mission she's well this version of nora is going to cease to exist a new timeline will be created and in this new timeline barry will grow up and be able to see nora actually as a child and this version of nora will cease to exist so again her mission however she ends it She's going to be erased, not really killed, I don't think. So, yeah, that's interesting to just keep in your mind as we head towards the finale. So, playing on from that, he says that speaks to the timetable for Iris actually getting pregnant. So, it seems like in the finale, we're going to get a teaser for maybe when Iris is going to get pregnant or she gets pregnant in the finale. That is super interesting because... I'm not actually sure how old Nora's supposed to be in the TV show, but she's supposed to be, you know, mid or early 20s, not too old, not too young, 
but she still has that childish nature, so you presume she's a lot younger than Jessica Parker Kennedy in real life, because I believe she's about 36 or 37. She's actually much older, like seven years older or something, than most of the young cast members, including Grant, but she plays this sort of more innocent, younger version compared to, say, Barry and everyone. So she's supposed to be younger, so I'm guessing if she comes back from 2049, if she's still around at that point, which, yeah, she's definitely around at that point. So if we work back maybe like 20 years, that's 2029, but I think she's a bit older than that, so I would maybe add five more years, so that would be roughly around 2024 she would be born. So that 2024 is the date of crisis, so it seems like maybe she was born just before Crisis, that's the most logical thing. And in this new timeline, with this version of Nora ceasing to exist, or if she does get erased, is going to be changed so that maybe she's born in 2019 or 2020 and Iris just gets pregnant in 2019. So I think that's very interesting that he's teasing Iris actually getting pregnant and, you know, the time scale at which everything's going to work because it seems like Iris is going to get pregnant a lot earlier than she's supposed to in Nora's version of the timeline. Alright, so let's move on to the next bit, and while viewers will bid adieu to at least two characters, might one of them not be Nora? So he teases two characters will be leaving, that's what he essentially means, that's just a fancy way of saying it. But who could this be? I think this is definitely, surely going to be Cisco. He wasn't even in last episode, they've been slowly writing him out, being like, oh, he was with Breacher to find out how to do this and that, you know, he's off, he's doing something else, he's in that off-site facility, researching and so on. Yeah, he's barely been in the season, essentially, is what I'm trying to get at, and I don't see him sticking around, which is a shame, because I love Cisco, but I think Carlos Valdez just wants to move on with other stuff, so I think that definitely one of the two characters that we're going to say bye to is going to be Cisco, and in regards to the other character, he teases one of them might not be Nora, and I have this feeling that Nora's going to stick around, and I would be personally ecstatic if she stays around, because I think she's amazing, I've been loving her this season, I think Jessica absolutely kills it as Nora, and I think there is definitely a way, I've talked about this in the past, for Nora to actually stick around, because if she fails to do her mission, she needs to wait around until Crisis to save her father. So there is definitely more than one ways, as the EP actually teases, for Nora to stick around. It makes a lot of sense. So I wouldn't be expecting Nora to go away. I think there's a chance she goes away, she gets erased. But also there's a chance if she fails to do her mission, she sticks around till Crisis next year, which is uh, very interesting, and I would personally love to see that. But the other character, if it's not Nora, I'm definitely saying Cisco. It's not going to be Caitlyn, it could be Cecile, because she doesn't have really too much to do on the show. It could be Ralph, he doesn't really have too much to do on the show. And presumably the more notable one would be maybe Sherlock, so they can switch in another version of Harrison Wells. Maybe Harry comes back next season. I think that would probably be the safer bet, but I think the response to Sherlock has been really good. And I don't think they're actually going to get rid of him. So Todd teases there are more than one scenario essentially in which Jessica Parker Kennedy can come back and he says there are actually many. So I think there is a high chance that she sticks around and I think the reason why would be related to Reverse Flash and what we've seen from the finale set leaks that Reverse Flash is actually fighting Nora so something has gone wrong in some way. We don't know what has gone wrong. But it seems like, as Iris teased last episode, she's been manipulated and Reverse Flash has been able to get out of Death Row. He's got his full-on black hair, so, you know, he's fully back in power and something has happened so that he's escaped. And in the finale, presumably nearer to the end of the episode, we're going to get that scene that was teased, obviously, from the set leaks. But I think that relates to maybe how... Nora can stick around because she's been betrayed and they're fighting each other and at one point Nora like holds her hands and it seems like either she's getting erased 
or maybe he is siphoning the negative speed force out of her or the speed force out of her. I think that's a good theory that I've been sort of lingering on and thinking about. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the DCTV show to stay up to date with me. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.